Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Stories with Pastor Macy. I want to apologize. We haven't had very many stories that this week. And that is because I managed to hurt my foot uh, pretty significantly. And uh, so that has kind of preoccupied me. But I promise we will be back to more normal, consistent stories this next week. Today I want to share with you another Eric B. Hare story on the record player. A few weeks ago on Sabbath we did Pip Pip the Naughty Chick with Eric B. Hare reading it on the record. And uh, I've promised uh, that at some point we will do Silver and the Snake. But today we're going to do The Little Engine. And so this morning we're going to do the first side of the record and then this evening we'll do the second side of the record. So it's going to be a two-story kind of a day. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. We'll turn on the record player, adjust the microphone, and set the needle. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little engine with a bright shiny eye right in the middle of his forehead and bright shiny pipes all around its sides. But do you know, that little engine couldn't do what it wanted to do and go where it wanted to go all by itself. No, it couldn't. That little engine with the bright shiny eye just had to do what it was told and go where it was told. It did. And do you know what told that little engine where it had to go? It was two shiny railway tracks. It ran out of the station, around the bend, and past the woods, and through the cart, and over the bridge, and across the river, and through the meadow, to the little station way, way over yonder. And every day and every day, that little engine with a bright, shiny eye said, Doo! Doo! And off he went, out of the station, round the bend, and past the woods, and through the cut, and over the bridge, and across the river, and through the meadow to the little station, way, way over yonder. Now, every day and every day, there was a train of cars hooked onto that little engine with a bright, shiny eye. And they followed it out of the station, round the bend, and past the woods, and through the cut, and over the bridge, and across the river, and through the meadow to the little station, way, way over yonder. Now every day and every day, there were lots of men and lots of women and lots of boys and lots of girls who sat in those little cars that were hooked onto that little engine with a bright shiny eye. And when the little engine said, Doo, doo, away they went, out of the station, around the bend, and past the woods, and through the cut, and over the bridge, and across the river, and through the meadow, to the little station way, way over yonder. And every day and every day, whether it was hot or whether it was cold, whether it was sunny or whether it was wet, when the conductor waved his little flag, that little engine of the bright shiny eye always said, Doo, doo. And off he went, out of the station, round the bend, and past the woods, and through the cut, and over the bridge, and across the river, and through the meadow to the little station, way, way over yonder. Now, of course, you know, engines don't have thinkers like we have. And engines don't have talkers like we have. But do you know what I think this little engine was trying to say as he went puffing out of the station, round the bend, and past the woods, and through the cut one day? I think he must have been trying to say as he went puffing along, I don't want to go, want to go, want to go, want to go every day, every day, every day, every day, whether it's hot or whether it's cold. Why can't I play with the dear little birds? Why can't I play with the dear little sheep? I don't want to go, want to go every day, every day, out of the station, round the bend and past the woods and through the cut, over the bridge and across the river and through the meadow to the same old station, away over there, away over there. I don't want to go, want to go, want to go, want to go. That's what I think that little engine with the bright shiny eyes must have been trying to say. For what do you think happened? This day when it went out of the station round the bend and past the woods and through the cut, just before it went over the bridge to cross the river, it gave a big jump with its front wheels and a big push with its hind wheels. Maybe it thought it was going to fly around now with the dear little birds. Maybe it thought it was going to play around now with the little sheep. But it didn't. For the little engine with the bright shiny eye didn't have wings to fly around with little birds. And it didn't have legs to play around with little sheep. 
all it had was wheels to do what it was told. And when the little engine with a bright shiny eye wouldn't do what he was told, he tumbled right over into the ditch. to our little engine. It is in the ditch, but we are going to finish our story tonight. So we'll flip over the record tonight and hear what happens to the little engine in the ditch. Thank you for joining me for Stories with Macy, and I will see you in a few hours this evening. Bye.